Howdy! Happy wave. Here we are with chapter 12, lesson number three, multiple angles. Now, if you think back to the two previous lessons, we were writing a cos x plus b sine x in the form of either a sine or a cosine function. And then Mazamel came up to me and Mazamel said, Well, if you have cos 2x or sine 3x, and I said, Mazamel, that would mean you had multiple angles. So Mazamel, to keep you happy, let's do some examples. So write 5 cos 2x plus 12 sine 2x in the form k sine 2x plus alpha. For alpha between 0 and 360 degrees. Now if you haven't looked at the two previous lessons, you're best looking at them because I go into it in a little more depth. But for each of these, you need to know the addition formula of by heart or just look at the formula sheet. So the first thing you want to do is you're wanting to set them equal. So you're going to have 5 cos 2x plus 12 sine 2x equals k sine 2x plus alpha. You know from there you want to expand that using the addition formula. So you're going to have k and then in brackets expand sine 2x plus alpha. So if you expand that using your addition formula, that is what you get. Remove the brackets, so you're going to have k times sine 2x cos alpha, and then k times cos 2x sine alpha. From there, you need to find the values of a and b, or the values of k cos alpha and k sine alpha. From there, you just do it the exact same way. In the two previous lessons, we were taking the coefficients of cos x and sine x, but here it's going to be the coefficients of cos 2x. So the coefficient here of cos 2x is going to be k sine alpha. So we know we'd have this k sine alpha, and that would be equal to the same coefficient of cos 2x on the left-hand side. So the coefficient of cos 2x is 5, so the coefficients must be equal. So k sine alpha must be equal to 5, just like that. After that, you know the coefficient of sine 2x. Well, the number of sine 2x's that you have is k cos alpha. So k cos alpha must be equal to the coefficient on the left, which is 12. So k, sine, uh, k cos alpha must be equal to 12. So we have found those values. From there, we start off doing it the exact same way. So you can say the value of k is still going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. So it'll be the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared, which is 144 at 25, which is 169. Square root that, and you end up with 13. So we've now found the value of k. To get the value of alpha, again, you start it the same way. So you're going to have k sine alpha over k cos alpha equals tan alpha which is equal to b over a. So if you put the numbers in, k sine alpha is going to be 5, k cos alpha was 12. The k's will cancel out. Sine over cos is tan. From there, we know tan alpha is 5 over 12, but we want to find alpha. So go to the calculator, work out tan to the minus 1 of 5 twelfths, and you end up with 22.6 degrees. Remember from here, you always need to check your quadrants. So think about cast and think about the signs, positive or negative, for sine, cos and tan. So cos is a positive number, cos is a positive here and here. Sine is a positive number and that's a positive here and here. And tan alpha is a positive, 5 twelfths is positive and tan is a positive in T and A. You want to use the one with three ticks and that's just your calculator answer. So you know the value of alpha then will be 22.6 degrees. So if we have now found the value of alpha, we found the value of k. So we can say then that 5 cos 2x plus 12 sine 2x is equal to 13 sine 2x plus 22.6 degrees. So Mazamel, not much of a difference. You're doing it the exact same way. Let's try one more example then. So example two, the displacement d units of a wave after t seconds is given by the formula d equals cos 20t plus root 3 sine 20t. And so we express d in the form k cos 20t minus alpha degrees, where k is bigger than zero and alpha is between zero and 360. So for this one here, you're wanting to let d equal the cos 20t plus 
root 3 sine 20t. And you know then if you want to write it in that form, k cos 20t minus alpha, well the first thing really that you want to do is set them equal. So you would have that formula, what d is equal to, and you set that equal to your k cos 20t minus alpha. From there, you're wanting to expand that. So expand the right-hand side. The left-hand side stays as it is. You're going to have k and then in brackets, expand cos 20t minus alpha, just using your addition formula. So for that, you'd have got cos uh, something minus something. So cos something minus something is going to change. So it would become a cos 20t cos alpha plus sine 20t sine alpha. From there, to move the brackets, you're really multiplying out by k, and you will end up with this. And then from there, again, you do it the exact same way. So for this, you want to take the coefficients of cos 20t and sine 20t. So the coefficient of cos 20t then, well, cos 20t, how many have we got in the right? Well, we've got k cos alpha. That's what we're left with. And we know then the coefficients are going to be equal. So the coefficient of cos 20t on the other side, cos 20t is there. If there's no number, just put a one in front of it, it means one times cos 20t. So therefore, k cos alpha must be equal to one. Do the same thing with sine 20t. So sine 20t on the right hand side, coefficient you would have left over, you'd have a k and a sine alpha. That's what we want, k sine alpha. And on the left hand side, take out the sine 20t and the coefficient is positive root 3. So your k sine alpha would equal root 3. So we've, we've now found the values of a and b. From there, to find k and a, to find k, do the exact same thing. It's the square root of a squared plus b squared. So it's the square root of 1 squared plus root 3 squared. Remember, root 3 squared is root 3 times root 3, which is root 9, which is 3. So it's the square root of 1 add 3, square root of 4, which is 2. So we have found the value of k. To work out alpha, do the same thing. k sine alpha over k cos alpha would give us uh, root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. The k's will cancel, and sine over cos is a tan. So tan alpha is going to be root 3. Using the exact value triangles then, you know that works out to be 60 degrees. Just check that using the quadrants. So here we know cos is a positive, cos is a positive here and here. Sine is a positive, sine is a positive here and here. And tan is also a positive, and tan is a positive here and here. You want to use the quadrant with the three ticks. Remember, if you don't get three ticks in one of them, you have made a mistake. From that then, A is just the calculator answer, it's the acute angle, so you know alpha will be uh, 60 degrees. From there then, express D in this form. Well, you know that D is equal to 20 cos T plus root 3 sine 20T, and we therefore know that we can replace K with 2 and the alpha with 60, and that is what you will get for your answer. Try these questions, solving using the multiple angles or expressing it in that form. Good luck. Any problems, let me know. Bye. Thank you.